Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I thought I would do a review of a pre-pressed software suite called Artworker. Artworker was designed with print service providers in mind to help alleviate some of the bottlenecks that might happen in your pre-pressed department. It allows you to receive files directly from your customers or request files from your customers so that they can upload um, print ready artwork directly to Artworker instead of using uh, like a WeTransfer or Google Drive, um, Dropbox, those types of uh, uh, upload services. It allows you to send proofs directly to your customers. It also allows you to uh, check files and um, do some fix ups to those files and then ultimately to send those files forward to the production environment at your shop. Artworker actually reached out to me to do a review um, for them, asked me to give my honest opinion about things, uh, what I liked, what I didn't like, and then after some back and forth, they said, Mike, why don't you go ahead and do a video review for your uh, subscribers so that they can get a little understanding of what Artworker is all about. So I figured I'd go ahead and share that with you today and uh, what my ultimate uh, opinions are about this software. So after you log into your Artworker, uh, into the Artworker website, this takes you here to an overview of all the different uh, jobs that you have in your system, new jobs that have come in, transfers that your customers have sent to you, and then any credits that you've used for um, doing fix-ups to your files. Here in the job area, you can see this is set up pretty much exactly how jobs uh, flow through a pre-press environment at a, uh, a print shop. You have jobs that are, are waiting uh, artwork, so customers either haven't sent them yet or you haven't requested those yet. Uh, anything that's awaiting review, so these are jobs that um, have been submitted. The artwork has shown up and now the pre-press worker needs to go ahead and, and review those files to make sure that everything fits with the um, specifications that are noted on the job ticket. These are jobs that have been rejected, jobs that are currently in the proofing stage, anything that's been approved by the customer, and then ultimately jobs that have been approved and sent off into uh, production. You can create jobs directly here in your job board where you can add a company name. They actually allow you to uh, have a database of several different companies to work with. Um, so you can add those in yourself for all your customers as, and additionally contact information for those customers. You can put in job information here, like give it a, a name or a ticket number and then a reference number like a purchase order or something else. You can also uh, have your customers directly upload artwork. And here you have a customized upload page. This uh, information is all set up in your branding standards in your settings area so i can put my logo i can put a bad different background um, i can also use uh, a uh, api key to set this uh, basically onto my website so everything looks like it's coming directly from my print shop and not you know through artworker essentially um, that part of it i'm not too technical about that's kind of a outside of my area of expertise um, but the folks at Artworker uh, have definitely said that you can incorporate all of the Artworker uh, setup with your website um, so that allows you to basically interface with your customers and have it have everything look like it's coming directly from you and not some third-party uh, software company so back here in my job board uh, once a job has been created I'll just click here and so I have a job here that's uh, that's been created. There's no artwork yet that's been submitted. But before I even start there, I can add a lead time in here. So I can say, you know, this is going to be this job is going to take five working days. Um, so it allows you to set a time limit on a job or, uh, you know, basically kind of prioritize jobs. If you have a whole bunch of jobs here in your job board that you know, some of them are not due for a few days. The more important ones, you can do the focus on those first. Um, you can change customer information here. You can also add pre-flight checks. Uh, this is very valuable to 
basically catch problems before they even become problems. Um, I can put in, I can change my measurement units here between inches and millimeters. Um, I can add page counts. So uh, let's see, what job did that put here? Um, oh, I didn't do anything here. So uh, let's just go ahead and add some pre-flight checks. I'll say I'm going to set up a eight page, eight and a half by 11 size booklet. So I want to make sure that I have bleed, that I have uh, everything's uh, within a safety zone for my artwork. Uh, I want to make sure that all my images are at least 200 DPI. Uh, I'll put a recommendation of 300 DPI. Here I can tell it what kind of file I want. So let's say I only want to accept PDFs. Um, you can put that here or you can put multiple file types or if you just basically leave this um, blank it'll allow you allow the, the customer to upload any kind of file um, I don't want to require embedded fonts but you can and then down here I can display issues to the customer when they upload artwork if any of these specifications are not met uh, that's very handy especially for bigger shops that maybe you don't even receive uh, job tickets for a couple days down the road after the customer has submitted an order um, I know at, at my job, for instance, um, it takes sometimes, you know, the next day before the pre-press workers, we receive the actual uh, work orders. Um, and your customer may have submitted a job a day or two beforehand. This allows them to re receive a notification that some of the, um, that there's issues with those files before they even get to the pre-press department. So very, very handy solution there. I think that's actually one of the best parts about this software. Um, so here I can either request artwork from the customer um, or I can upload. So let's just go ahead and upload. I have a file here. And I'm gonna do this one here with no bleed. Now open it up and it'll allow you to upload this file and you can go ahead and just hit save changes. And here it will create a preview of what the artwork looks like. And from here, it will automatically start with pre-flighting your file and checking to make sure that everything is exactly as you set it in the pre-flight checks. And as you can see here, there's already an issue. Low res images have been found. So if I go to review artwork now, this will open up a uh, new interface where I can kind of move around here and look at certain things. I can toggle my guides. Obviously, you can see here that there's no bleed. Um, these little pop-ups here will show me issues that exist on those page. If I go into my file report, you can see here uh, page does not contain a bleed. So there's already an issue that's popped up. Um, so I can either fix those issues. I can come in here and go to fix up. And I can do things like add a crop mark or I can generate the bleed myself. Um, I can if I hit cancel I can just put a note here so let's see if I put a comment I can say you know uh, no bleeds exist uh, this is beneficial for a couple reasons you can send this information to your customer and let them know you know what's wrong with the file or if this is being worked on by multiple people in uh, your pre-press department let's say you have four or five people that work there um, maybe so-and-so is going on vacation tomorrow. Well, they don't know what's been happening with this file. If you put notes in there now, the next person that takes the job over automatically has all the information that they need, right? Uh, but let's just say this everything is fine, even though this doesn't have bleed on it. I can go ahead and I'll just hit this uh, check mark here, and now I can finalize the artwork here. So from this point forward, if I go back to my job board, you can see that the um, uh, the artwork is uh, in the proofing area here now this eight page booklet um, so I can send a uh, send a proof to my customer or I can um, uh, copy a link and pop it into a uh, uh, pop it into a web browser and the customer can view this uh, proof so this is what the customer is going to see on their side they'll receive an email with this link or like I said you can just send them the link and they can go come in here and they can review basically the same information that we just reviewed um, in the last step 
So from here, they can approve this job. They can upload new artwork. They can reject the job. If they're going to approve it, you can set different checks that you want the customer to approve. So in this case, let, uh, we want to remind them that you know we want them to check the spelling, the layout, the colors, the, you know, the images. And if they're okay with it, they're going to go ahead and confirm that they uh, did all that and they're going to approve the artwork. From there, we're going to receive a message. So my email will ding here in, in a second, letting us know that uh, the customer approved this. And if I go back to my job board here, you can see that now this uh, eight page booklet is in the uh, artwork approved area. And from here, I can go ahead and mark it as complete. And I can come back in here and you can see it's already in my completed area. This shows other jobs that are waiting, awaiting different things. There's my uh, beep that the uh, customer approved the, the job. Um, so you, you can create jobs from scratch. Like I said, you can create jobs from uh, customers sending you artwork through the, uh, the uh, upload portal. Um, you can reject artwork. You can do your fix-ups there. Uh, some of the thing, some of the uh, fix-ups are kind of limited, but the folks at Artworker have assured me that there, this is a, a software solution that they are going to keep working on. They're going to keep pushing updates. They're going to keep uh, listening to their users. They're going to be making uh, changes to their software to make it more robust for everybody involved. Any, uh, anybody that gives them feedback, they're taking it seriously and they're um, trying to make a better software solution for all the folks that work in uh, PrePress. Uh, so that's kind of like a quick rundown of what the software does. Um, but overall, my review is very positive. Uh, I felt that the strengths of this software, are obviously a great interface, very easy to follow, very easy to create new jobs very easy for your customers to send you files, to review those files. Um, some of the pre-flight areas are a little bit lacking. Uh, things like uh, integration with uh, PMS colors and that kind of stuff. Uh, if you do a lot of stickers, you know, you, you obviously will need to have things to check for like die lines and stuff like that. Um, but through the interactions that I've had with the folks at our worker, They've assured me that they're working on those things. They're taking those um, that information seriously and move, trying to move forward with better solutions uh, for their customers. I think it's a great solution simply for the fact that it allows you to try to catch problems before they even become problems. Like I said, it's the one of the best features is uh, to set a pre-flight check and then request artwork from your customer so when they upload it they'll immediately see that there's issues with that artwork and they can make those changes instead of having to wait a day or two until somebody reviews the artwork and then gets back to them and says hey look you know you forgot to add bleeds uh, you know do you want to fix this um, so basically that's it that's uh, uh, my overall thoughts are very positive um, I played around with this for a few weeks doing some uh, different testing with it so I kind of pushed pushed it to its limit again I, I find that it's a, a pretty robust system and as long as things are being worked on and things are being added all the different features are being looked at I think it's a very uh, valid solution for most print service providers to have a, a software solution like this it's especially useful, I think, for folks who are working in relatively small shops where you only have either one person working in your pre-press department or maybe you're like a one or two man operation where you're, you know, not only doing all of the, you know, billing and invoicing and print production and, and everything else, but you're also doing all the file prep and you're doing pre-press uh, checking files and things like that. It allows your customers to upload files directly to your uh, to your system and have all of those checks in there so that um, it puts less strain on you as a prepress worker because you have to do so you know you have to wear so many hats. So anyway, that's it for today. I uh, just wanted to share that. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you want to find out a little bit more information about Artworker, please check out their website. It's artworker.com. 
reach out to them. They uh, are, are happy to uh, answer any questions that you might have. Um, I'm not going to go into details as far as what pricing and everything is concerned, but uh, uh, their pricing solutions are directly on their website, so you can check that out and read a little bit more into that uh, a little bit further if you're interested. Um, thanks for watching the video, folks. Uh, I know it's a little bit different than what I normally do, but uh, I did want to go ahead and do this review, not only for you guys, but for them as well. Um, so, again, reach out if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, folks. Please hit that subscribe button if you already haven't subscribed. And uh, I appreciate the watch one way or the other. Um, and until next time, take it easy, folks.